don't avoid conflict. I don't, most of us don't really like conflict. You like every, I mean, I like everything to be smooth. But if he agrees with me all the time, I'm not going to grow. If I agree with him all the time, I'm not challenged and I'm not going to grow. So we have to use um, conflict and communicate even when it's hard. Have, have conversation even when it's hard. And it's best to, um, for hard conversations to happen as soon as possible instead of waiting. Um, conflict can be healthy if we do it the right way. Um, when possible, we need to check in with our spouse daily. How are you doing? What's going on with you today? Is there anything that we may have offended each other about? And how do we talk through it? Because if we go ahead each day and take care of those things, then they don't build. Because once they build, let's say he does something and it really irritates me, and I just keep it in my heart. And then the next day he does it again, and it grows. And then it keeps growing, and it keeps growing. So I just really just don't like it anymore. Whereas if I, the very first day, says this happened, and I don't understand why you did that. Can you help me? And we communicate with each other. Because a lot of times, in an unhealthy relationship, we are against each other. We're, we're even, I'm not saying physically, although that's a worst case scenario, but even in our words, we push back on each other and we argue and we're not going anywhere when actually we're supposed to be one, a team. While I have his back, he has my back. And that's how our relationship should work. Always back to back. That way, when things happen, we're there for each other because we're stronger together. So we're always a team and we're never against each other. And that has to be what you set your mind to each day. If there's misunderstanding that Okay, we're on the same team. Let's sit down and let's sit down and talk this out. We will not we will not fight against. We fight for and together.